title was worth it. In just he put it in a title when I had to restart my computer. Shut up! Yeah, after I asked. And kept poking you to do it. You know what it's time for, right? Another furry game. Start in a band -dam. <laughs> Jerry guessed it. Uh, I wanted another furry game. Another furry game would have been nice. Anyways, I'm gonna turn it down. Technically, you another furry certain. game instead. I don't have any other furry games except for, I think, like, Changed, which I think this the game was gifted. Other than that, I don't have anything. You could tech well, I don't know if you could play Change on screen. Uh, I think it has a Twitch category. Oh, then I guess you can. I can check. Yeah, it has a Twitch category. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I'm it's still so looking to huh? see. Yeah, but anyway, this, this is a fan game. Oh, then it's... Well, actually, honestly... There's nowhere else to go but up. Yeah, it's Garden of Bam Bam Plus. The the bar is on the floor. <laughs> you literally cannot go any lower. Okay. Is what I used to think before Discord Mobile kept updating, so we'll see. There's always basement levels. Main door key card required. Car room key card required. Okay, well, uh, where's. Goddamn key cards. Oh! I picked up a key card. Oh, it's a power room key card. So yeah. Uh, apparently they made the creatures more terrifying from what I've saw in the description. Sorry, but, but this non-horror game isn't allowed to have horror. Sorry. That's not how it works. Oh yeah, before I continue, Garden of Bam Bam, the latest chapter that got released, uh, one of the characters that was voiced was actually a person who constantly criticizes the game. <laughs> I feel seen and heard. What the fuck? Fuck was that? <laughs> I just walked into a room and died. <laughs> I guess um, don't, par don't there. partial agreement. I agree with part of that sen sentiment, Sanju, but I also agree that Indigo Park is very much an exception to most of the mascot horror that we've been getting recently in the past few years because the animations are good the voice acting is great it's fun that's the most important part it's fun it's fun to play yep and it's not something like shipwreck where it feels like the mascot thing is shoved in unnecessarily I think Nightmine made a good point about Shipwreck in that if they had left out the weird mascot thing, it would have been a really good horror game. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do about that thing? 
I don't know. I swear, if I get Sorry, I'm trying... I'm still trying to find the... How big the development team for Indigo Park is. Hmm. Oh, wait. I found the YouTube video. It should be, like, at the very end of the thing. I'm dead. God damn it. I actually got caught in the goddamn wall. Let's see. Patreon supporters. If I die one more time, I'm giving up. What's the point of coming in here? I am very much confused. Okay, counting this is too difficult. But the, um... The dev team... Is like decently sized like just looking at the just looking at the credits it looks like um well actually I think it's like f at max based on what I'm reading on the credits it's like 40, 35 to 40 people worked on this. And, oh. that's, and that's counting the voice actors. Oh. So, the dev team is relatively small for what we got. Um, so it shows what a little bit of effort can do for your games, folks. Yep. Well, I'm stuck in a cutscene. Oof. Case in point. Exhibit A. Hey. <laughs> Wrong floor. <laughs> that was it. I hate being right sometimes. 